to health matters, by 2018, 6,000 cases of cholera had been reported in the country. This year so far, six counties have been reported to have cholera outbreaks. Moreover, the scourge of cancer is on the rise and researchers have linked it to unsafe foods. It is in this realization that Kenyatta University, in collaboration with the Ministry of Health, Agriculture and Food Industry stakeholders, held a food safety conference to deal with the lack of food safety measures. A food conference bringing together the government, academia, business people and the UN is being held at Kenyatta University and the theme is food safety. Amongst the government's big four agenda is food security. However, issues of poverty, lack of consumer awareness and no visible partnerships in the sector has led to a new initiative led by the United Nations keen to emphasize on the need for food safety as much as security that within food safety, this will come because of aflatoxins, antimicrobial resistance, pesticide residues. These are scientific uh, uh, issues that we know will cause a lot of safety concerns uh, for us. But there is another one, which is a very silent one, and we need to sort it out. And probably it will be the key. And that is poverty. That is hunger, because a hungry person will eat anything, and then say, first once I eat, we'll sort the rest later. In line with these efforts, Kenyatta University has launched the Kenya Association of Food and Safety and Protection. The academia is aiming at changing the narrative from food security into more research and programs on food safety. We have uh, standalone courses on nutrition education. At nutrition education, we focus on the channels of communication. How, how do you communicate? How do you make a simple technical sentence to a simple message that, that you know, someone in the village or in the marketplace can get? So you, you, you change the technical terms to very simple, you know, language that the public can consume. And uh, we also have other courses like in nutrition counseling. You know, like I'll sit you down and tell you, let's put the, the, the science aside and let's just talk, for example, how good eating is learned. Increasing levels of fertilizers and pesticides are being noted in animal and plant products, a factor that has seen considerable Kenyan exports rejected in the international market. The CAS Health Dr. Rashid Aman has announced the tabling of the food safety bill set to realign the sector. There is, a, you know, foods need to be regulated before they get on the shelf. If we do not have a mechanism of regulation, then anybody can put anything on the shelf and it is consumed. So there has to be a regime that makes sure that uh, products, right from the raw material stage, uh, when they are being processed within a factory and so on, that uh, the, the standards are observed to ensure that that product is safe. So clearly, yes, there will be a regime of testing products to make sure that they comply with the set standard and international standard and they do not contain in excess of any harmful, harmful products. Non-communicable diseases such as cancer, diabetes and communicable ones like cholera and typhoid and the increase following lack of regulation of chemical contents in food and lack of food hygiene. The European Union blacklisted Kenya as one of the countries with 10% increased maximum residue levels, which are the set legal levels of concentration of pesticide residues in or on food. Christine Kamau, KETV.